Hey Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here, I hope you're all really well. Today I have got a drugstore first impressions review for you. As you know I always alternate my first impressions reviews between high end and drugstore. The last one was high end, so today I'm going to be reviewing a Rimmel product. And this is the Rimmel Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip colour. I'm not going to be wearing it for 16 hours but we're going to give it a good go. Um, I have chosen the shade called number 500 kiss me you fool and it looks like it's going to be a sort of cherry red maybe step one it says is intense color and then step two lock and shine so i'm just going to get started as you can see it's sealed i picked this up in boots but i haven't tried it as yet now i haven't heard a great deal about these i really like the apocalypse so i'm hoping that i might like this however lily pebbles hated this she included it in her disappointing products review so who knows how we'll get on. Um, I have prepped my lips by putting lip balm on um, and then I've just buffed it away and now they're dry. As in, there's no no product on them. So you've got your pot of lip colour at one end and then your doe foot applicator. And I'm going to apply this in a thin layer. Oh, it's a nice true red. Much more of a true red than a cherry red. Okay, I ha I'm going to try not to move my mouth too much, but I've applied the first thin layer. Really good intense colour. I'm just going to let that set for a bit. Okay, and I'm going to go in with just another thin layer. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with step two, which is the lock and shine one. Seems a shame that this uh, nice clean doe foot applicator is going to get red on it. Oh, this one really smells. Sort of not a very nice synthetic scent. Oh, I don't like the scent of this at all. Hopefully this isn't going to linger. Okay, well it's definitely giving a shine. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I thought. Firstly, I think the packaging is cute. I like this little lip print. I'm a sucker for anything with a lip print on it. Anyway, I tend to collect things like that. Um, it's functional, you know, with the duo end. But the directions aren't the clearest. I think, you know, I sort of just knew that it was best to apply a thin layer and then sort of wait for it to set. Because just from having tried similar products in the past and I knew that I had to sort of prep my lips quite a bit beforehand. I'm really impressed with the intensity of the colour and in fact I probably would have preferred to have worn a lip liner with it as I would just any time that I was wearing an intense a colour this intense but because it's first impressions I don't want to do anything that's going to interfere with my first impression. Really really beautiful true red colour and this top layer is adding a very nice shine to it. We'll see how it wears. I have got high expectations for the wear because I know one of the reasons that Lily Pebbles didn't like it was that she actually found it too long wearing. I don't like the scent of the Step 2 clear gloss. Actually I'm not really noticing it already. Um, either I'm acclimatising to it or it's just settling down but during use I didn't like that scent. Very synthetic. Um, almost like a... I don't know, let me smell it again. A sort of very synthetic almost you know when you get really fake smelling chocolate you know when you get really fake synthetic chocolate scents it's almost a bit like that not in a good way um i mean i like foodie scents but that's not good and when i was applying that step two coat it felt a little bit almost dated you know um this is going to show my age now but i was a teenager in the 90s and there was this product that's still available in fact called lip coat L-I-P-C-O-T-E, which is basically like a clear gloss that you applied to set your lipstick on top of the lipstick. I don't know how long that had been around for before I was a teenager, but I know that it has now been around for years, and I always think of it as a very dated product. This kind of reminded me a little bit of that. However, loving the shine, loving the intensity of the colour, so we will see how it wears. The time now, after I've been faffing around all morning, is just coming up to 11 o'clock, so I will check back in throughout the day. I really want to go and have a drink, but I feel like I should wait for a little bit, um, and then I will let you know how I'm getting on. 
Hello everyone, it is just past three o'clock and so I've been wearing the lipstick for about four hours, in fact a little bit more than four hours, and I have to say I am super impressed. This is incredible. I haven't touched this up at all and it still looks pretty good. I've never known a lipstick to be so long wearing. And what's more, it's really, really comfortable on the lips as well. I kind of thought that because it had that long wearing formula, it might be a little bit drying but it actually just feels like I'm wearing a hydrating lipstick or a lip gloss, but not sticky. Um, I have had a coffee, had some soup for my lunch with some bread. I've noticed a little bit of wear just here, which I think is probably where my soup spoon caught, but other than that, it looks perfect. The glossiness has toned down a little bit, as you'd expect after four hours and after eating and drinking, but it's still got a very nice finish, and the colour is pretty much intact, apart from, as I said, just there and it's wearing beautifully really 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 impressed with this i'm just going to zoom in so you can see what i'm talking about can you see that this is pretty much transfer proof as well when i was having my coffee i barely noticed a sort of slight touch of the gloss on the um on the rim of the cup if i go like this there's nothing transferring this is a fantastic lip product. I'm really, really impressed. I've also been trying to press this against my teeth because that's something that I really struggle with when I'm wearing a bright red lipstick or any bright lipstick is that it tends to transfer onto my teeth and that is not a good look. But even when I've been trying to press this onto my teeth, it's not transferring, which is great. So that for me is making this a real wonder product. I'm really intrigued when I'm looking at the company claims at the end of this video to see what other shades are available as well. I can't quite remember from when I picked it up in Boots, but I love this so far. I'm very, very impressed. I think it would be great for all times of year, you know, party season. I think it would look amazing with like a bronzed body and a bikini on the beach, you know, if you really want to do that high octane glamour on the beach look. I'm super impressed. Anyway, I'll check back in towards the end of the day and let you know my final thoughts, but so far, like two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Name that film. Hello everyone, it's just gone 6pm and I thought that I would check in with a few more thoughts on how the lipstick is wearing. Now, before I address the lipstick, I just want to address my lighting. You will notice that it's changed, and that is because I'm now using artificial lighting. I was filming with natural lighting earlier. Now, I filmed an empties video before with artificial lighting, but I'm not too sure what this artificial lighting is going to be like. I've played around a little bit since filming that empties one, and I'm not too sure what it's going to turn out like, but I guess I kind of just need you guys to bear with me for the time being with the lighting because it does mean that I can give you longer first impression videos, you know, trialing the products for longer and also it means that I can film more, I can film in the evenings, hopefully, if the lighting finally gets sorted out, but it is going to be a bit of trial and error to begin with. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to talk about the lipstick. I feel like it's starting to wear, sort of, if I purse my lips, you can see it's starting to wear on the inside a bit more. Um, but considering that I've been wearing this for over seven hours and I haven't touched it up at all, I think this is pretty incredible. I'm very, very impressed. Now, it's starting to feel a little bit dry on the lips. Not uncomfortably so, but I'm somebody that applies my lip balm throughout the day. I'm probably applying it a bit too much, to be honest. I really like my lips to feel very hydrated. And so I'm at the point now where I'd quite like to apply a lip balm, but I'm not going to because I want this to be a full first... I'm not going to because I want it to be a true first impressions review, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. It basically just feels a bit like a normal matte lipstick would feel on the lips. So a little bit sort of tighter than I would like, but considering the wear, I'm very, very impressed. I was thinking this is basically how I wanted the Maybelline one to perform, and then I didn't really get on so well with the Maybelline long-lasting lipsticks. And I kind of thought, well, maybe my expectations were too high, but having tried this, well, this has blown all others out the water now, and I'm going to have stupidly high expectations whenever I'm trying a lipstick. But I'll check back in with my final thoughts. I'm going around to my parents for dinner now. It's going to be a big roast dinner, so I'm going to be eating lots, really putting this to the test, and I will check back in after that with my final thoughts. Hello everybody, it is coming up to 11 o'clock and yes I have got artificial lighting and I have no idea how this is showing on camera but the benefit is that I have been able to trial the Rimmel Provocalypse lipstick for a full 12 hours and give you my review. 
How exciting is that? I'm really excited by that. I haven't reapplied this at all throughout the day. I have had a coffee, quite a few drinks throughout the day. I had my lunch, which was soup and a bread roll, and then I went round to my parents' house and, well, my mom was a little bit bored of hearing me talk about this lipstick, but I had a roast dinner. So I've eaten, drank, had a normal day, and I feel like I've given this a good trial. Okay, admittedly it says that it is kiss-proof lip colour um, for 16 hours, and I haven't quite reviewed it for 16 hours, but we're not far off with 12 hours. I'm just going to give you a few of my thoughts and then I'm going to look at the Rimmel website and let you know how I feel that their claims compare to my opinion. So as I mentioned, I bought this myself with my own money in Boots, so obviously the packaging appealed to me on the shop shelf. I love everything, anything with a lip print and I also thought that the packaging was functional and I also like that the other end is reflective of the colour that's on the inside. I chose the shade. This was the one that appealed to me most. It is called Kiss Me You Fool, number 500. The instructions weren't the clearest, but nonetheless, I like the packaging. I thought it was pretty functional. You get a nice doe foot applicator at each end, and that allows for a nice precision application. I would have preferred to use this with a lip liner, but because of it being a first impressions, I didn't. But that's purely because of it being a bold colour that I would naturally veer towards having a lip liner. Overall, I thought it was easy to apply despite the lack of clear directions. I didn't really care for the, um, the scent of the clear Step 2 layer, which I found to be very synthetic. However, it didn't last very long on the lips at all. I really couldn't notice it after a while. On the whole, I felt that this was very, very comfortable to wear. I'm getting to the point now where I can't wait to take it off. I'm starting to notice some flaking and it really is wearing off quite unevenly and badly, but it's been 12 hours, so I'm not surprised at that at all. In fact, I am surprised because I'm surprised that it's lasted this well to date. I mentioned in this video that I haven't had the best experience with Maybelline long wear lipsticks, and maybe that's because my expectations were a little high, but since trying this, I'm kind of like, this is exactly what I wanted Maybelline to do, and it didn't. But this has just shown that it can be done. I'm super impressed with this. I've never known a lipstick formula to be so long wearing. And what's more, it's been pretty comfortable to wear throughout the day. For the large part of the day, it felt like I was wearing a sort of hydrating lip formula, maybe a sort of comfortable lipstick or a lip gloss, but not sticky. Um, and then it started as the day wore on to feel like I was wearing a matte lipstick. Still not uncomfortable, but I would have been reaching, if it hadn't been for a first impressions review, I would have been reaching for a lip balm. And now, after 12 hours, I really want to remove it. And that's what I'm going to do, because Lily Pebbles hated this. She included this in a disappointing products review, and I can't understand why, after trying it all day long, I'm super impressed. Um, but her main reason is that she found it impossible to remove. So, I thought it would be useful to try and remove it on video. And I'm going to be using one of my sort of trusted makeup removers for a bold lip. This is the DHC Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. It's by Phase. So I'm going to shake it up. It's not difficult to remove at all. I removed that pretty effortlessly. So those are my thoughts. I feel very barefaced now and I want to apply some lip gloss. I've got a Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector in front of me, so I'm just going to pop it on. Okay, so Rimmel website. Up to 16 hours of lip liberation, and this is wild without a trace. Haven't quite tried it for 16 hours, but definitely impressed with the long wearing claims of this. It says it is kiss proof, transfer proof, food proof, high impact, endless colour. Haven't kissed anyone today, but it is transfer proof. I actually sort of kissed the back of my hand to show you that. Food proof, I've eaten two meals and it was starting to wear off after the second one, but you know, I've also had quite a lot to drink. Overall, it's worn really well. High impact, endless colour. Yes, I was impressed with the pigmentation of this, that was the other thing I meant to mention. And when I arrived at home, my mum was like, wow, that's a bold lip. So, yeah, I would agree that it is high impact colour. I was also impressed, and it doesn't say this amongst the claims, but I was impressed that it didn't transfer onto my teeth because that can be a concern when I'm wearing a bold lip. and that's another reason why I really, really like this. 
no tight feeling or dry lips. Hmm. Started to feel a bit of dryness towards the end of the day, but it could be to do with the time of year. It could be that I'm used to applying lip balm throughout the day. So lips feel smooth and moisturized all day long. Well, as I said, it actually surprised me, at least for the first few hours, just how comfortable this was on the lips. I was really expecting the long wearing formula to be very dry and uncomfortable. And it was only towards like 12 hours in that I was kind of like, okay, I really want to take this off now. And it says easy removal with oil-based makeup remover. And I think that probably is the trick. You need an oil-based makeup remover. And I would recommend that DHC one. And it's available in eight shades. There's some nice pinks, some vampire shades, some sort of brownie nudes. I would definitely be interested in trying the vampy shades or the bolder pinks so i'm actually really intrigued to try out some more colors as i said this was the one that really jumped out to me in boots and i to be honest i picked this up a while ago when it was on offer and i can't quite remember if this jumped out to me specifically as being my favorite of the ones that were available or if i just thought that a classic red would be a good color to review there's lots of different shades they've got quite cute names like little minx um i'll call you dare to pink play with fire, um, make your move. They're all quite sort of flirty and I suppose that kind of ties in with their sort of long wearing kiss proof color. The Rimmel website describes this as a lip stain and whilst it's a long wearing lip color, I wouldn't describe it as a stain because the color intensity remains on the lips all throughout the day and it really does look like a bold lipstick. I am super, super impressed that these are just £6.99. They're often on offer and I think that that's very comparable to other products. I know that the Maybelline one, if I recall correctly, was around £8.99 and I didn't like that half as much. Okay, I think Maybelline has more shades, but on the whole, I think that £6.99 is excellent value for this. And if they do have another three for two offer, which they seem to do a lot, then I would probably be picking up some more shades in these. I would quite happily spend... I don't know, around $8.99, $9.99, I know it's still Rimmel, so that's why I'm not going higher, um, on these. Very, very impressed with the product, and I would highly recommend it. This is a rave first impressions, and I hope that you found it useful. Do let me know if you've tried the Provocalypse. I'm not sure if they have them available in the States as yet. If they do, if they have a different name, do let me know in the comments below, and give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.